The Life of John Legend. John Roger Stevens, born December 28, 1978, known professionally as John Legend, is an American singer, songwriter, producer, actor, and philanthropist. Prior to the release of Legend's debut album, Get Lifted, 2004, he had collaborated with already established artists and signed to Kanye West's Good Music. Legend has sung on Jay-Z's Encore, Alicia Keys's You Don't Know My Name, Dilated People's This Way, Slum Village's Selfish, Fort Minor's High Road, and played piano on Lauryn Hill's Everything Is Everything. Legend's single All of Me from his fourth studio album Love in the Future, 2013, was a Billboard Hot 100 number one hit. In 2007, Legend received the Hal David Starlight Award from the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Legend won the Academy Award for Best Original Song and Golden Globe Award in 2015 for co-writing the song Glory from the film Selma. He has also won 10 Grammy Awards. In 2017, Legend received a Tony Award for co-producing Jitney for the Broadway stage. In 2018, Legend portrayed Jesus Christ in the NBC adaptation of the Andrew Lloyd Webber slash Tim Rice rock opera Jesus Christ Superstar. He received a Primetime Emmy Award nomination for his acting role, and one for his role as a producer of the show, making him one of 15 people and the first black man to have won an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony, EGOT. Legend is also the second youngest person to have achieved this milestone. Early Life Legend was born on December 28, 1978, in Springfield, Ohio. He is one of four children of Phyllis Elaine, Lloyd, a seamstress, and Ronald Lamar Stevens, a factory worker at International Harvester. His father was a drummer, his mother sang and directed the church choir, and his grandmother was the church organist. In 2004, Legend stated that his parents were divorced for 12 years before reuniting. Legend was homeschooled by his mother. At the age of four, he performed with his church choir. He began playing the piano at age seven. Because of his academic talent, he skipped two grades. At the age of 12, Legend attended Springfield North High School, from which he graduated as salutatorian of his class four years later. According to Legend, he was offered admission to Harvard University and scholarships to Georgetown University and Morehouse College. He attended the University of Pennsylvania, where he studied English with an emphasis on African American literature. During college, Legend served as the president and musical director of a co-ed jazz and pop a cappella group called Counterparts. His lead vocals on the group's recording of Joan Osborne's One of Us, written by Eric Bazilian of the Hooters, received critical acclaim, landing the song on the track list of the 1998 Best of Collegiate a Cappella Compilation CD. Legend was also a member of the prestigious Senior Society Sphinx Senior Society and Onyx Senior Honor Society while an undergraduate at Pennsylvania while in college. Legend was introduced to Lauren Hill by a friend. Hill hired him to play piano on Everything Is Everything, a song from her album The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. He graduated with a bachelor's degree, magna cum laude, in 1999. Career Beginnings After graduating from college, Legend worked as a management consultant for the Boston Consulting Group and began producing, writing, and recording his own music. He released two albums independently, his self-titled Demo, 2000, and Live at Jimmy's Uptown, 2001, which he sold at his shows. He subsequently began working on his demo and began sending his work to various record labels. In 2001, Devo Springsteen introduced Legend to Kanye West, then an up-and-coming hip-hop artist, Legend was hired to sing during the hooks of West's music. After signing to West's label, he chose his stage name from an idea that was given to him by poet J. Ivey, due to what he perceived as an old-school sound. J. Ivey stated, I heard your music and it reminds me of that music from the old school. You sound like one of the legends. As a matter of fact, that's what I'm going to call you from now on. I'm going to call you John Legend. After J. Ivey continued to call him by the new moniker John Legend, others quickly caught on, including Kanye West. Despite Legend's reluctance to adopt a stage name, he eventually announced his new artist name as John Legend. 2004-2007 Get Lifted and Once Again. Legend released his debut album, Get Lifted, on Good Music in December 2004. It featured production by Kanye West, Dave Tozer, and Will I Am, and debuted at number 7 on the US Billboard 200, selling 116,000 copies in its first week. It went on to sell 540,300 copies in the United States and was certified gold by the RIAA. 
an international success, Get Lifted also reached number one on the Norwegian Albums chart and peaked within the top 10 in the Netherlands and Sweden, resulting in worldwide sales of 850,000 copies. Critically acclaimed, it won the 2006 Grammy Award for Best R&B Album, and earned Legend another two nominal awards for Best New Artist and Best Male R&B Vocal Performance. Altogether, the album produced four singles, including debut single Used to Love You, which entered the top 30 of the New Zealand and UK singles chart, and Grammy Award-winning Ordinary People which peaked at 24 on the Billboard Hot 100. John Legend also co-wrote Janet Jackson's I Want You, which was certified platinum and received a nomination for Best Female R&B Vocal Performance at the 47th Annual Grammy Awards. A highly sought-after collaborator, Legend was featured on several records the following years. He appeared on albums by Fort Minor, Sergio Mendez, Jay-Z, Mary J. Blige, The Black Eyed Peas, Stephen Colbert, Rich Boy, Mastercroft, Chemistry, and Fergie, among others. Legend also tentatively worked with Michael Jackson on a future album for which he had written one song. In August 2006, Legend appeared in an episode of Sesame Street. He performed a song entitled It Feels Good When You Sing a Song, a duet with Hoots the Owl. He also performed during the pregame show of Super Bowl XL in Detroit and the halftime show at the 2006 NBA All-Star Game. In October 2006, Legend's second album, Once Again, was released. Legend co-wrote and co-produced the bulk of the album, which saw him re-teaming with West and Will I Am but also spawned production from Raphael Sadiq, Craig Street, Sarah, Eric Hudson, Devo Springsteen, Dave Tozer, and Avenue. Released to major commercial success, it reached number 3 on the Billboard 200 and debuted on top of the top R&B slash hip-hop albums chart. It was eventually certified platinum by the RIAA, and reached gold status in Italy, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom. At the 2007 Grammy Award ceremony, the song Heaven was awarded the Grammy Award for Best Male R&B Vocal Performance, while lead single Save Room received a nod in the Best Male Pop Vocal category. Legend won a second Grammy that year for Family Affair, a collaboration with Sly and the Family Stone, Joss Stone, and Van Hunt, for the former's Different Strokes by Different Folks album. 2008-2010, Evolver and Wake Up. In January 2008, Legend sang in a video for Barack Obama, produced by Will I Am called Yes We Can. The same year, Legend had a supporting, singing-only role in the 2008 movie Soul Men, where he plays the deceased lead singer of a fictitious soul group that includes Samuel L. Jackson and Bernie Mac. In October, he released his third studio album, Evolver. Speaking about the reasons for calling the album Evolver, he stated, I think people sometimes come to expect certain things from certain artists. They expect you to kind of stay in the same place you were at when you started out. Whereas I feel I want my career to be defined by the fact that I'm not going to stay in the same place, and that I'm always going to try new things and experiment. So, as I think this album represents a manifestation of that, I came up with the title Evolver. The album was preceded by dance pop influenced up tempo single Green Light, which featured rapper Andre 3000 of Outcast and became his highest charting single since Ordinary People. It was also released for the Grammy Award for Best Rap Slash Sung Collaboration. On March 30, 2008, Legend performed in front of a sold out crowd of 74,635 in the Orlando Citrus Bowl, now known as Camping World Stadium, for WWE's WrestleMania 24. In 2009, Legend performed in The People Speak, a documentary feature film that uses dramatic and musical performances of the letters, diaries, and speeches of everyday Americans, based on historian Howard Zinn's A People's History of the United States. Also in 2009, Legend and The Roots teamed up to record a collaborative album, Wake Up, which was released on September 21, 2010. The first single released from the album was Wake Up Everybody featuring singer Melanie Fiona and rapper Common. In February 2011, Legend won three prizes at the 53rd Annual Grammy Music Awards. He was awarded Best R&B Song for Shine, while he and The Roots won Grammy Awards for Best R&B Album and Best Traditional R&B Vocal Performance for Hang On In There. In March 2011, Legend and The Roots won two NAACP Image Awards one for Outstanding Album, Wake Up, and one for Outstanding Duo, Group or Collaboration. 2011 Present, Tour, Duets, Love in the Future and Darkness and Light on July 5, 2011, 
songwriter Anthony Stokes filed a copyright infringement lawsuit against John Legend in United States District Court in the District of New Jersey, alleging that Legend's song Maxine's interlude from his 2006 album once again derives from Stokes' demo Where Are You Now? Stokes claimed he gave Legend a demo of the song in 2004 following a concert at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Legend denied the allegations, telling E. Online, I never heard of his song until he sued me. I would never steal anyone's song. We will fight it in court and we will prevail. However, nearly 60,000 people took a TMZ.com poll that compared the two songs and 65% of voters believed that Legend's Maxine's interlude is a rip-off of Stokes' Where Are You Now? A year later, Legend confirmed that he settled out of court with Stokes for an undisclosed amount. Also in 2011, Legend completed a 50-day tour as a guest for British soul band Shut A. In the San Diego stop, Legend confirmed that he was working on his next studio album and played a new song called Dreams. Later, via his official website, he revealed the official title of the album to be Love in the Future, and debuted part of a new track called Caught Up. The album has been executive produced by Legend himself, along with Kanye West and Dave Toza the same team who worked on Legend's previous albums Get Lifted, once again, and Evolver. Legend has stated that his intention for the record was to make a modern soul album to flip that classic feel into a modern context. Legend was granted an honorary doctorate degree from Howard University at the 144th Commencement Exercises on Saturday, May 12, 2012. Legend was a judge on the ABC music show Duets along with Kelly Clarkson, Jennifer Nettles, and Robin Thicke. Legend's spot was originally for Lionel Richie but he had to leave the show due to a scheduling conflict. Duets debuted on Thursday, May 24, 2012, at 8-7C. He released his fourth studio album, Love in the Future, on September 3, 2013, debuting number four on the Billboard 200, selling 68,000 copies in its first week. The album was nominated for Best R&B Album at the 2014 Grammy Awards. Legend's third single from the album, All of Me, became an international chart success, peaking the Billboard Hot 100 for three consecutive weeks and reaching the top of six national charts and the top ten in numerous other countries, becoming one of the best-selling digital singles of all time. It was ranked the third best-selling song in the United States and the United Kingdom during 2014. The song is a ballad dedicated to his wife, Chrissy Teigen, and was performed at the 56th Annual Grammy Awards. In 2014, Legend partnered with the rapper Common to write the song Glory, featured in the film Selma, which chronicled the 1965 Selma to Montgomery marches. The song won the Golden Globe Award for Best Original Song as well as the Academy Award for Best Original Song. Legend and Common performed Glory at the 87th Academy Awards on February 22, 2015. Legend was featured on Megan Trainer's Like I'm Gonna Lose You from her debut studio album, which reached number 8 on the Billboard Hot 100. On February 1, 2015, he sang America the Beautiful in the opening ceremony of Super Bowl 49. He provided guest vocals on Kelly Clarkson's song Run 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 for her album Piece by Piece. He also co-wrote and provided vocals for French DJ David Gaeta's song Listen, as part of the album Listen. Legend released his new album Darkness and Light, with first single Love Me Now, on December 2, 2016 with songs featuring Chance the Rapper and Miguel. Legend featured on Kygo's song Happy Birthday for his debut studio album Cloud9 released in 2016. For the 2017 film Beauty and the Beast, Legend and Ariana Grande performed a duet on the title track, a remake of the 1991 original version sung by Celine Dion and Peebo Bryson. In April 2017, Crow, The Legend, a short animation film, premiered its prologue at the Tribeca Film Festival. Legend was cast in the title role as the character Crow. He also served as executive producer for the project and performed the original song When You Can Fly. The film won at 13 different film festivals including the LA Film Festival where it made its North American premiere in 2018. The film won Best Animation VR Experience at the 2018 Rain Dance Film Festival and received nomination for Best Virtual Reality Production at the 46th Annual Annie Awards. On December 19, 2017, NBC announced that Legend had been cast in the title role in the live concert production of Jesus Christ's Superstar at the Marcy Avenue Armory in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. The production was broadcast live on NBC television on April 1, 2018, the date of Easter Sunday that year in Western Christianity. On May 8, 2018, Google chose Legend as one of the six new Google Assistant voices. 
Legend was one of the only celebrities to appear and speak out in the Lifetime documentary Surviving R. Kelly. The six-part docuseries details sex abuse allegations spread over four decades against acclaimed R&B singer R. Kelly. It highlights women who claim that the singer and record producer for decades used his power and influence to sexually and physically abuse women and underage girls. Legend lambasted R. Kelly during his interview in the final episode of the series, asserting that R. Kelly has brought so much pain to so many people. Time's up for R. Kelly. Despite countless public allegations and controversies concerning Kelly, Legend stands as the only major recording artist willing to come forward and speak against him in the documentary. In response to fans who labeled him as brave for his actions, Legend stated the following on Twitter ahead of the program's debut, to everyone telling me how courageous I am for appearing in the doc, it didn't feel risky at all. I believe these women and don't give a fuck about protecting a serial child rapist. Easy decision. Executive producer Dream Hampton revealed that it was incredibly difficult to get men and women who had artistically collaborated with Kelly to come forward, including those who had criticized him. During an interview with Detroit Free Press she said, We asked Lady Gaga. We asked Erica Badu. We asked Celine Dion. We asked Jay-Z. We asked Dave Chappelle. There, people who have been critical of him. That makes John Legend even more of a hero for me. On May 21, 2019, Legend was the winning coach on The Voice and won the competition with his artist Melin Jarman. Philanthropy. Legend performed a benefit concert in Springfield, Ohio in 2005 in support of a tax levy for the Springfield City School District. In May 2007, Legend partnered with Tide Laundry Detergent to raise awareness about the need of families in St. Bernard Parish, Chalmette, Louisiana, one of the most devastated areas hit by Hurricane Katrina. He spent a day folding laundry at the Tide Clean Start Mobile Laundromat and visited homes that Tide was helping to rebuild in that community. On July 7, 2007, Legend participated in the live, Earth concert in London, performing Ordinary People. After reading Professor Jeffrey Sachs' book The End of Poverty, Legend started his Show Me campaign in 2007. In this campaign, Legend called on his fans to help him in his initiative for residents in Bazaso Village, Somalia and non-profit organizations partnered with the campaign. Also in 2007, Legend was the spokesman for GQ Magazine's Gentlemen's Fund, an initiative to raise support and awareness for five cornerstones essential to men, opportunity, health, education, environment, and justice. In October 2007, Legend became involved with a project sponsored by The Gap, a retail clothing store chain in the United States. In early 2008, he began touring with Alexis Ruffin and Professor Jeff Sachs of Columbia University's Earth Institute to promote sustainable development as an achievable goal. Legend joined Sachs as a keynote speaker and performer at the inaugural Millennium Campus Conference. Legend then joined the Board of Advisors of the Millennium Campus Network, MCN, and has aided McKen programs through online support and funding fellowships for McKen Summer interns through the Show Me campaign. In 2009, Legend gave Aid Service Center NYC permission to remix his song If You're Out There to create a music video promoting HIV-AIDS awareness and testing. On January 22, 2010, he performed Sometimes I Feel Like a Motherless Child on the Hope for Haiti Now telethon show. On September 8, 2010, John Legend joined the National Board of Teach for America. Legend also sits on the boards of the Education Equality Project, the Harlem Village Academies, and Stand for Children. He serves on the Harlem Village Academy's National Leadership Board. On September 9, 2010, he performed Coming Home on the Colbert Report as a tribute song for the end of combat operations in Iraq, and for the active troops and the veterans of the United States Armed Forces. In 2011, he contributed the track Love I've Never Known to the Red Hot Organization's most recent album Red Hot Plus Rio 2. The album is a follow-up to the 1996 Red Hot Plus Rio. Proceeds from the album's sales were donated to raise awareness and money to fight AIDS-HIV and related health and social issues. On March 6, 2012, John Legend was appointed by the World Economic Forum to the Forum of Young Global Leaders. Later that year, Legend stopped by Children's Hospital Los Angeles for a surprise visit and acoustic performance as a part of Get Well Soon Tour. On June 1, 2013, Legend performed at Gucci's global concert event in London whose campaign, Chime for Change, aims to raise awareness of women's issues in education, health and justice. At a press conference before his performance, Legend identified himself as a feminist saying, all men should be feminists. 
if men care about women's rights the world will be a better place. In 2016, Legend Co. signed a letter to the United Nations Secretary-General Ban Ki-moon calling for a more humane drug policy, along with people such as Richard Branson, Jane Fonda, and George Schultz. The following year, Legend appeared on Salem State University's speaker series and was recognized by Voices Against Injustice, formerly known as the Salem Award Foundation for Human Rights and Social Justice, as the inaugural Salem Advocate for Social Justice. Also in 2017 Legend donated $500,000 to Springfield City School District to renovate an auditorium, which is named in his honor, within the Springfield Center of Innovation. He performed at the John Legend Theater on October 9, 2016. In 2018, he starred in an animated virtual reality short film written and directed by Eric Darnell, titled Crow, The Legend, together with Oprah Winfrey, telling a Native American origin tale. Personal Life Legend met model Chrissy Teigen in 2006 when she starred in the music video for his song Stereo. They became engaged in December 2011 and were married on September 14, 2013, in Como, Italy. The 2013 song All of Me was written and is dedicated to her, the music video was reportedly displayed at their wedding. The couple had a daughter, Luna, in April 2016 and a son, Miles, in May 2018. Both children were conceived via in vitro fertilization. In 2019, John Legend was been named the sexiest man alive by People magazine. Been named the sexiest man alive by People magazine. Been named the sexiest man alive by People magazine. Been